One might think that because the crosstown is underground, no work is required above ground. But that's not true. A lot of work associated with tunneling happens at street level. We have to build launch and extraction shafts. These are the deep excavated areas where the tunnel boring machines are launched and removed from the ground. A lot of work has to be done to relocate utilities and build emergency exit buildings and cross passages. As well, head walls must be constructed at various points along Eglinton where the 12 underground stations will be located. The head walls will form a portion of the station boxes and they must be in place prior to the arrival of the boring machines. Yes, there will be work required at surface when work begins on the station construction. Building the station structures is complex and involves the construction of platforms, concourse levels, and associated entrances. For example, a typical cut and cover construction method involves relocating or supporting utilities, excavating a large trench from the surface, building a concrete structure, and then backfilling and restoring the roadway. We understand that this work can be very disruptive to residents living in neighborhoods near Eglinton and motorists traveling along Eglinton. We thank everyone for their patience and understanding as we work to build this important project. Depends on the nature of the work being carried out. Currently, the construction for station head walls takes approximately six to nine months. Utility relocation is constantly ongoing.